I don't do fundamentals. I don't feel that is in my best interest when I come to investing. Because again, I think that tells you where a company is today, not where the company is going to be tomorrow. And I invest for future growth. So that's how I structure my portfolio. And in this video, I want to answer some of your questions because I've been called out on this. You don't talk about anything about fundamentals. You don't give us any information. Well, if that's what you want, there's plenty of places you can go on YouTube to get that. And quite honestly, you, you should be able to do that on your own. Uh, you should, if you're going to invest in the stock market and you're basing your investments on fundamentals, you should learn how to do that on your own. And maybe you should use YouTube, you know, for ideas. And then you can go and look at the fundamentals and come to your own conclusion. No, I invest based on what I think is going to happen in the future. And, and, and again, I, I have an advantage, I guess, because I've been alive for a long time and I've seen change and I've seen what change does and how it fundamentals don't predict the change. You've got to recognize the change and then invest accordingly. So in this vote video, I'm going to clear up some questions that have been brought to me and, um, and maybe help you understand a little bit more of what you can expect from this channel. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. In my comments today, I got a comment from uh, Mr. Fresh Cocotone. His comment basically said, uh, usual random advice based on nothing, not even a bit of analysis regarding the company's fundamentals. Uh, crazy how people are still listening to this guy. Well, Mr. Frez Coco Tone, okay, uh, I understand your, your concern. I understand what I am saying is not what you're looking for. That's okay. Um, and please, I'm not offended. Don't be offended by what I say. I looked at your, your Facebook um, uh, page and I see that you have a number of people that you follow who do give you fundamentals. Okay, uh, I'm not right for you. So why don't I rely on fundamentals? Well, just today, uh, Apple, or last night, Apple gave its projections. And based on uh, Goldman Sachs' analysis of fundamentals, he had, Goldman Sachs had Apple as a sell. Based on last night's numbers, he changed it to a hold. Obviously, the fundamentals that he was looking at weren't coming true in actual performance. Because I, I, I keep going back to the interview in January of 19 of Jim Cramer and, and Tim Cook. Uh, and Tim said to Jim, go forward 20 years and look back and tell me what you think. The biggest contribution that, that Apple will bring to, to the world will be. And, and Jim said, well, I'm sure it's the, you know, the iPhone and, and the, the iPad and, and, and things of that nature. And, and Tim shook his head and said, no, no, it's going to be our contribution to the change in how healthcare is delivered. That's nowhere in the fundamentals. It's, it's nowhere there. So if you don't know that, you can't, you can't really be investing in the future. It's like I said the, yesterday, you're investing quarter to quarter. You're looking for what are we projecting for next quarter? You can't win at that game because that's the game that the quantum computers and the Wharton graduates play at the hedge funds and they make their trades in milliseconds, and you just can't play that game. At least I can't, so I'm not going to try to. If I also look at fundamentals, Amazon's overvalued, as is Tesla and Google. But nonetheless, they just had blowout quarters. Um, and I don't think the fundamentals have anything to do with where they're going. I don't think that the fundamentals figure in that Amazon's 
biggest profit maker is not those distribution centers. It's it's that Amazon Web Services. And I don't think those fundamentals figure in that 5G and 6G is going to bring the internet of everything into the equation. And the amount of data that Amazon and Google are going to be processing is going to grow exponentially. I don't think that's in the fundamentals. So I don't do fundamentals. I look into the future. I read extensively. Obviously, the people who are doing this have not read any of the books that I read, and I'm not finding my book by Amy Grant. I know it's out in the other room because I was reading it again, Uh, The Big Nine. That has nothing to do with fundamentals. It has to do with artificial intelligence, machine learning, that the big nine are controlling. So I don't do fundamentals. Um, If that's what you're looking for, you're at the wrong YouTube channel. What I do do is, as I said, I follow Wayne Gretzky's advice. I skate to where I think the puck is going. What I want to do now is I want to show you a breakdown, a a, a financial breakdown of my portfolio. The other day I showed you the actual portfolio, but I want to get down to the numbers and what I see and how I see it in the future. So what I'm showing you here is my current holdings, and I'm breaking them down into three categories. Um, the, the, The first category is what I refer to as as the my big six or big five plus Tesla. And you'll see I have about $550,000 in there. And that represents 62% of my portfolio. I'm looking for this to grow at a rate of about 17% a year compounded over the last next four years um, or three years till through 2023. I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating that that 550,000 will grow to uh, 881,000. And that's based upon just the growth that they're going to do. They're big companies. They aren't going to explode in size, but these are the companies that I would be feel, feel comfortable dying with and giving to my children and my grandchildren and saying, you just live on that. Just hang on to this. You'll, you'll be fine. And that's kind of what what they are, okay? Then you're going to see the next category. And this, as you're going to see, is is pretty heavily into genome uh, editing, um, my interest in uh, finding a cure for cancer. That's what that shirt's all about. And I'll talk to you more about that another day um, and how I want you to get involved in it. And you'll see that in that part of my portfolio, I have... 20%, 20%, and, and that's another $175,000. I expect that to grow at about twice the rate of this big six portfolio. So about a 34% compounded annually over um, through 2023. I expect that 175000 to grow to 431000 So again, that's how I manage my portfolio. Then I have another 18% in what I'm going to call 11 speculative stocks. And again, if you go back to my other portfolio, you can, my other video, you can see what those are. And these are companies that are, are involved in, um, in the genome therapy and and medical fields, in robotics, in in uh, th- uh, 3D printing, um, this these are the the companies that I think are going to work to help to build our blockchain, uh, uh, MN um, materials. Um, also, you're going to have in there Palantir. These are companies that I expect um, more substantial growth. And some of them are going to collapse. Some of them are going to turn into nothing. And then others are going to be 100 Xers. They're going to explode. There's some, there's several in there that are, you know, down in the, in the $5 range that I believe could turn into a $500 stock. So that's how I manage my portfolio. So I'm, I'm basically saying the roughly $888,000 that I have in this portfolio um, will turn into, what is that, 
about 1,860,000 by the end of 2023. Fundamentals aren't in there. It, it just isn't, it, it just isn't there. So, so don't look to me for that. Now, I need to also say that I have other investments. Uh, I have a substantial amount in real estate. Uh, I've talked to you about that I'm a developing a, a community um, here in Birmingham. Um, I, I, I have assets in, Nita and I have a 401k plan each that is wrapped around my, my business. So I have other investments that I invest in, but this is the portfolio that I manage for my YouTube channel, and I want to share that with you. I guess the the nuts and bolts of it is that I don't believe I can beat um, the hedge funds at their game, I, and I'm not going to try. And, and I don't believe that the um, managers of some of your mutual funds and your ETFs, I, I would say I, I would be surprised if uh, Kathy Wood's analysts don't read the same books that I read, uh, because I see what they're doing. They're, they're look de- looking towards disruptive technology uh, that's going to change our world. And, and I think that is, that is how they invest, and that's how I want to invest. And I don't think fundamentals are, are the way to go. So, um, Mr. Um, F- Free Coco Tone, I'm not your guy. So, so, you know, recognize that and, and, and don't call me names. Just go somewhere else, okay, and, and, you, and be fulfilled. Uh, I don't want, obviously, I'm bringing some misery into your life, and I don't want to do that. I want to help you, uh, those of you who, who believe the way I believe. The other thing that you're going to see me spending more and more time on is your mind and your mindset. I have, I did a video last Tuesday where I proclaimed that I am going to become a, a billionaire. And it's interesting what happened once I made that, that statement is that my mind now rotates in a different direction, if you would. Uh, I see things, I recognize things, and I now, my the, the, the roommate who lives in my head, who is my coach, says, how could that make you a billionaire? How could you take this and adapt it that way to make you a billionaire? And, and I've talked about um, in a video about how the people are uh, going to use, uh, what is it, fun, uh, non-tangible, fundable, fungible, non-fungible tokens um, to make a, a billionaires. I've talked about how the change, I think you're going to be paid for your data, is going to make billionaires. Well, just last night, or early this morning, I should say, uh, it came to me, I can make myself a billionaire through this. Yeah, through this. And what lit me up was Google's Google's reports reports on their earnings and how YouTube is exploding within their ecosystem. And I thought, I'm part of that. How can their a billion dollar company using YouTube and other and their search engine and, and their cloud computing and all that? But I don't want to be, well, I wouldn't mind being a whatever they are. $600 billion company heading for a trillion. But I can take this YouTube concept that I've discovered over the last year and a half, and I can turn it into a billion dollar company. And I figured it out. And I wrote a letter and sent it yesterday to the first person who can help me do that. And I want you to come to the same rotation that my mind is in. I want you to start thinking, how can I become a billionaire? One of the first things you're going to need to do is take care of that unwanted roommate in your head who tells you right now, is telling you, there's no way I can become a billionaire. Right now, he's telling you that. You got to get rid of him. And you got to change his attitude to become your coach 
who says, you know, Carrie, I think you're right. If you'll do this, this, and this, you can build a billion dollar company. Okay, so I'm not a fundamentalist. Don't ask me to be. I won't be. I'm a futurist and I'm going to become a billionaire. Come along with me. It's going to be a nice ride. Come to Best of Us Investors, uh, sign up, join our Discord, and we'll talk more about it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, let's build this community. Let's build this tribe of future billionaires. Billionaires.